You notice their bed is encircled by a line of salt, but you forget as your lips and blade explore your body. They tri- wait, wait, hold on, I'm not ready for this! Who would waste this wide, gorgeous room on pool tables instead of a dance floor? Variety's pretty good, I think. Hmm. Is it? I would just spend my time with you. No need for variety here. Besides, I'm not sure that applies here. A dance floor supports a huge variety of dances. Normally we play club music, but people could do break dance, ballet, roller dance, whatever. Instead, they're just these boring tables and balls. Oh well. There's no accounting for taste, huh? Let's find somewhere more exciting to be. Uh, what you look at? Do I have a gift for you? Oh, I have so much. Wait, I forgot. You like to drink. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I don't eat much, but I do love all the other forbidden pleasures. Stop flirting with me. I got a freaking partner. Thank you very much. I think. I'm not sure. Our relationship, once again, our relationship is weird. What kind of club is this? I've never seen a club this big in my life. Oh! They didn't attack right away, so I kind of get confused. Come on. You never know what my day be going through. Might even take a picture. A stage, huh? Hmm. When I was young, people told me I should use my looks. Be an actor. Or a singer. Did you? No way! Uh... I mean, I tried. For a little while. I'm certainly not shy, but as much as I like attention, I really prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions, meaningful conversations, understanding one another, intimacy, you know? I'd rather dance alone in my room than on stage for strangers any day. But the best way to always be with you, of course, uh, just as friends, I mean, you and me, and Mandy, the crew, when the time is right, anyway. Like what you're applying, Mr. Sender. I know, I know for a fact Rowan would not like chains. You like that? Okay, you liked it. Oh, I do like this. I must admit, almost as much as I like you. Here we go. Dude, didn't I friend zone you like seven times? Stay in that friend zone, my guy. Stay in it. I forgot that he can reach like across the room and hit people. Ah, ah man. Yeah, yeah, take that. Take it, take it all. Don't you dare! You know what? You're right. It's a snake. It's a snake coming here. Why do I have to do this again? To battle my fears? I'd rather just push him down, honestly. Oh, God. Push him deep down. I don't need it. I don't need it. I really don't need it. Oh. What's this? Ah, yes. Spirits. Did I ever tell you about the time I met Jack Daniel? The Jack Daniel? Hmm. He's a bit of a narcissist, even after death. But energetic, if you let him talk about himself. After death? Fame is powerful. In the emotional realm, people like Dexter Daniel thrive there. His whiskey reportedly often not the best, but he said that wasn't the point. He had other goals. What goals? I didn't want to interrupt. The connection was weak. He probably sought the usual. Love or power, or both. Um. Rowan eyes you thoughtfully, but shrugs again, standing and stretching. Would you like to offer a gift? Oh, fudge! I think you like flowers. Um, would you like flowers? Yeah, I think you like flowers. Yeah, you like flowers. A thoughtful gift. I sense kinship between us. Enough of this. Hey, don't you dismiss my flowers. They're awesome. They don't know who they're dealing with. Oh, that's a lot of sass. Oh, you're usually sassy, but you're not that sassy. Jeez. I'm not used to this new Rowan, and I think I like it. These creatures do not deserve mercy. Okay, you're back to your original self again, I guess. Glad to have you back. Keep going. Oh, yeah, I died. Oh, I'm professional now. I better be, for all that. Everything is too much work, you know? The dungeon avoiding vampire hunters, the club, gotta relax. So, wanna chill in the park with me? Uh, sure, Slender. Cool, see you there. Alright, so we have a little meeting with Slender. Tasty is sedative in the West. Are you okay? Definitely. <laughs> the egg wasn't blackened at all. I cut the bread myself, too. I felt so powerful. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> 
cool. All right, Rowan. I finally, finally have done. I've made a uh, contact with Alice, or at least the deepest concept of her. Uh, is she okay? Well, she was rather angry with me. I guess I can't blame her. I'd like to see you and explain our next phase. Want to take a walk with me up on the mountain? What phase? Come if you want to know, or don't if you don't. I'll be here. Fine, but I have to see Slender first, or he'll kill me. You find Slender waiting at a bench, listening to the crickets. Hey. Hey, kitty. Been working hard, huh? Going to the dungeon, making friends? I don't know how you do it. You work and work and just keep working. Maybe it's just because it's been 200 years, but life seems exhausting to me. You sound burned out, man. <laughs> yeah, probably. Though not by the sun, eh? Hey, -o. I don't know. Maybe my life was cool at first. I guess everything loses its appeal over time. Probably? Sunder clears his throat. Would you like to offer a gift? Uh. Nah, I, I don't have anything you like. So, was there anything you want to ask me about the vampire situation? Oh! Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, um. What's the deal? No, can you literally drink blood? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's not bad. It mixes well with vodka. I almost don't miss normal food. Except fried dough. I'd kill to eat a donut. But even donut makers don't taste similar. Sad stuff. Okay. What about Mendy? Mendy's my blood mother. It has been since 1812 or so. I was a nobody in Benares, India, when she found me. Turned me and took me in. So here I am. Eternally young, because she liked my face. Uh... We haven't been lovers in a long time, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, no, I, I wasn't thinking that. I was just, I thought she was like your sister or something. Can you turn into a bat? What? Turning into a sword wasn't enough for you? But no, I can't. No invisibility either. At least not yet. Maybe when I get older? Uh... Eesh, I hope no older vampires are watching us right now. Creepy. But I am allergic to sunlight, garlic, and churches. Oh well. Are there werewolves? Short answer, no. Long answer, death wolves have some moon-related baggage. Hmm. But they've never migrated to California, so I wouldn't worry about it. Alright. Well, I'm done asking questions. Now I get to ask you a question. The table's turn. Alright, fine, fine. Enemies will die while bleed it can explode. Ooh. Fair warning, it's a bit of a doozy. I've been feeling restless and purposeless the last 50 years or so. What will you do with 200 years? Mm -hmm. What do you really, really want, honestly? Honestly, I just want to be happy, babe. Yeah, same here. I just want to enjoy life, you know? Every moment. Mm -hmm. Too bad everything is so much work. Even just thinking about the next 100 years is so tiring. <laughs> okay, everything reminds me of death, like it's all rotting and doomed. Oh well, I'm sure you didn't come to hear me whine. Poor me, right? <laughs> I've got a sharp edge, this body, and an infinite nice left. I shouldn't be complaining. One day at a time, guy! <laughs> yep, that's my style. Or in my case, one night at a time, huh? I should head home before the evil sun cooks me. He gives you a wave and centers into the dark. You head home. Oh god. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna eat me! I thought he was gonna eat me! Hey babe, I almost got eaten. Rowan is looking out over Renona Beach in a usual attire. Uh, is there a dress code? Huh? Hmm? No, no, you're fine. In trying to reach beyond the veil, symbols and metaphors are powerful. I thought maybe wearing our traditional family robes might help, and maybe it did. Either way, I felt Alice in my heart, and she really lashed me, called me a coward and a weakling. When it comes to how I treat you, she said she was disappointed in me. She expected better. That's kind of harsh. Yes. But fair. She has a point. I've been leaning on you and on Crowley too much. It's been unbalanced. Ah. Uh. I love you. You've shown me so much patience and generosity of spirit. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how to handle this. Hold on. And yet I've taken advantage of your kindness. 
I'm sorry for that. It's not right. I always call you in a crisis. To help me with grief or with Crowley or with everything. Uh, that's okay. You've helped me grow as a scythe and as a person, sharpening me. I want to do the same for you. I love you too. Uh. <laughs> Erwin's eyes widen. You can always feel their heartbeat clicking, even from a distance. What power your words have over me. <laughs> love magic indeed. Oh God. So from now on, I want to be equally giving. To meet you halfway. Oh, okay. You want an equal relationship. I can do that. That's awesome. I, I can do it. Ever since I first met you, I loved letting you be in control. But I should contribute too. I want us to be together for a long time, so we have to be equals in all things. As partners. I agree. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad. I can already feel Alice approving. We're back on track. But if I backslide, I hope you call me out on it. Habits can take time to break. I promise. Thank you. Yeah. Crowley mutters something softly into Rowan's ears. Rowan nods. Ah, yes. We each fashioned a small gift for you. Here's mine. They give you a small but heavy wooden box. You open it to find a quartz whetstone. What the heck? I made it by hand, when I envisioned my perfect companion some years ago. With a whetstone, you are a master wielder. You gain double love with all weapons. I made it by love rank. Oh, cool! It isn't enchanted as such, but symbols have their own power, don't you think? Ooh. And Crowley got you these. His friends will be quite jealous. They hand you a handful of small, rounded beads of glass. Pretty human. Thank you, Crowley. So, what's new with you? Any interesting people you've met? Monsters you've destroyed? You walk down the mountain as the sun sets, filling them in on recent events and chatting. May I offer you a cup of Margaret's Hope Dirgingling tea? It's a family treasure, but I'd like to share it with you and give you the full tour of the state. You can spend the night if you wanted to. Sure, why not? Sleep over! Rowan leads you inside and you spend a quiet evening together. At some point, Crowley retires to his cage. You notice their bed is encircled by a line of salt, but you forget as your lips and blade explore your body. <laughs> they tra wait, wait, hold on, I'm not ready for this! <laughs> they trace runes on your skin, making your blood sing in the alien rhythm. The pleasure is crystalline. You find yourself becoming more forceful with them, and they melt under you, obedient to your whims. Eventually, you drift off into a deep sleep, and you seem to continue to love in an otherworldly dream. Farewell. In the morning, you share a few kisses and symbolic gestures, then head home. You reach max love with Rowan. Now we weren't something? Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're something now. Jeez. I need to play. I need to. Oh, I need to look in the mirror at myself. What? I just let this happen. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>